Let me see if I can do it. Wow, that wasn't so bad. I can still do it. Like the speed of what is going on guys this is bullet train hd here and welcome back to the channel to some forza motorsport 6 i'm going to give you guys my thoughts about forza motorsport 7 going to be released in october well you guys are now october 3rd of this year e3 announcement just um just announced that there will be um you know releasing the game which the game looks very good in native 4k and definitely supports it 60 frames a second and um that's that's awesome the xbox one is very powerful it got that advantage and as you can tell the difference between the gameplay and the actual footage that has been recorded at the overlay um very big difference dramatic changes and um that's that's amazing what they are doing to forza and um, i hope forza has more to offer as though as you know the drifting community I can't really drive in the rain because I suck. So I'm kind of taking it slow on the turns. Don't expect me to really go any faster. But anyway, what does Forza 7 have to offer for the drifting community? We don't know as of yet until the game comes out. We will find out as soon as it gets here. And yes, I am driving a Porsche. The RS. You already know what this one is. RS 4.0. I love this car. It's fun to drive, but anyway, um, as for the drifting community for Forza, um, drifting is very big in the Forza community. I know that for a fact because I'm part of that community as well as the drift community on um, Gran Turismo. And um, I hope um, Forza can make some good changes with the community with maybe the drifting and... Like on this one, for example, and you know, really separate it for like, you know, maybe some drift competitions or something like that. I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts down below, and let me know what you guys want to see from Forza Motorsport 7 this year. Um, they're they're going to be taking a different turn, or as though as you know, graphic wise and overall performance in the Xbox One X, which you know that's good that I can support. That native 4K gaming, um, and that I don't know that I'm just you know amazed how the Xbox One is performance-wise is definitely the way to go. And I know some people who are going to be trading in their Xbox original ones to get the more powerful processing power of almost a PC, or to get almost five hundred dollars Xbox One. Plus you're paying tax too. It depends on what state you're in, but still, you're paying about five hundred dollars at least. But um, I mean, you get for every little thing that you get for the Xbox One, you're you're pretty much just paying everything out of the box. The controls are the same, which you know it's, it's just, of course they're going to keep the controls the same. It's just the upgraded console that looks like a damn PC. Well, running on PC specs, really, in my opinion. And, um, like I said, Turn 10 is really, Turn 10 is, is doing great with their, uh, franchise. And, uh, I give them props. I really do. For making these nice changes and, you know, make, they made a deal with Porsche. And that's a big deal. I mean, holy shit. Since they're not with EA anymore. They signed off the contract, I think. I think that's what happened. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but you know what I mean. But you guys already seen from the E3 gameplay or the gameplay footage that you guys seen from Forza 7 and Forza 6. Very big changes. The storm, it looks like Drive Club, the way they try to present it, which is funny to me, but I mean... They have enough processing power to pretty much take their games in native 4K. Some games are not going to run it, obviously. But an overall performance, that's great. 
and um for the the game devs behind it for making that happen great job and um I know your games I know your game is going to sell which you know Forza 6 sold a lot of copies and I'm playing it now but it's already downloaded so nah it's not the physical but you know Forza overall is a very fun game it's got a lot of people who play it and that that's your money maker right there your your Forza because you got a lot of car enthusiasts who own the Xbox right now as of Gran Turismo Sport which is going to be probably losing in the market for the drifting community anyway that's just my thoughts because you got drifts you got drags and then you got some circuit races but the drifting community is very big in the gaming franchise as, as far as a whole I don't, not a lot of people do racing but if people want to have fun they want to drift give out their tunes and stuff like that damn these puddles are just dramatic Let me see if I can do it. Wow, that wasn't so bad. I can still do it. I'm so good. I'm just drifting a little bit. Just trying to have a little, little bit of fun. But um, what are your thoughts down below, guys? Let me know. What do you what do you think Turn 10 is gonna offer in their new Forza 7 IP? Almost took the grass life right there. Too bad though. Hey, <laughs> hey. But still, what do you guys think about the new Forza IP? Um, you think um that this Forza is really going to change everything in the Xbox One X um, performance and um, overall gameplay? Is it going to have a lot more fun factor than Forza Motorsport Four? Would it would it be like most Forza Motorsport Four? Would they take it back to its roots again? And I don't know. What are your thoughts? Because if they make it like Forza Motorsport 4, whereas though that's a very big community in Forza Motorsport 4, which some people really want to go back to, and some of them can't because it's not backwards capable on the Xbox One or the Xbox One X. Because probably the, li the licensing. I just want to know your thoughts down below and have a discussion. As you guys see in the thumbnail, I thought I'd make that. I, I used that thumbnail in my old picture. That was I was at a... I forgot where I was at, but um, I think I was at Hershey Park. But, yeah, I kind of photoshopped it to make it look funny. Make you guys click on it, but just wanted, <laughs> I just wanted you guys' attention. So, because um, you know what I mean. Just to get you guys a, get, make you guys have a little bit of laugh and a smile on your face. But, um, like I said, Forge is a very great game, and I can see Turn 10 really just bottoming down with the community. And hopefully, they will listen to the community and their franchise. Because, um, like I said, the only way you could really sell your game is, is, is if the community is talking about it all the time. People always make a wish list. Excuse me. And a lot of people, you guys already know, like us, we want a little bit more. But unexpectedly, sometimes we don't get that. Which, you know, the game devs don't really listen or take our advice because, well, they don't want to. They just want your money, to be fair. They put some stuff in the game that we sort of want. And then, you know, sometimes the game gets a little bit boring. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot to talk about about this situation. I did four laps already. Sweet. But um, I honestly can't wait to see some gameplay, actual footage of gameplay in more of Forza Motorsport 7. PlayStation is going to offer their Grand Turismo Sport today. And the creator behind it is, um, this, this is talking about racing simulators in a whole. The, uh, the creator of Grand Turismo is going to be live streaming it today. So 
this video is not going to be out anytime soon. So, until the week, which you guys already know. But, until I put it out to the public and talk to you guys about it. But still, what are you guys' thoughts down below um, as far as Forza goes, the drifting community, and there's so much more to talk about because there's not a lot of people on Xbox right now that I talk to. And most of them are at work. And none of them really play Forza anyway. Because the people I talk to play Gran Turismo. Because I have a bigger community there. Because that's that's where I'm at. I'm not on really I'm not really on Forza period. I don't necessarily need to be on Xbox like that. I just play it because I like Forza. Simple as that. But I do have friends in the Forza community as well as the um, Gran Turismo community. So fair share, you know. I'm a gamer. I like both games. We both share our thoughts about both games. Most most of us have our likes and dislikes. I have my likes and dislikes about Forza. I have my dislikes and likes about Gran Turismo. So, that being said, it's already been almost 11 minutes. Hope you guys watched this video. Hope you guys made it this far in the video. We're moving like the speed of sound. This is Bullet Train HD, guys. And um, I'm going to go around this whole lap and see what I can do. See what I can do. I'm, I already know I'm not going to stay on the track for the whole lap. And the, the, the terrible thing about this game is, though, uh, actually, not the terrible thing. The thing about this game is they have no wet, no, no wet tires, which, you know, Gran Turismo has it. Why don't they have it for rain, for rain or wet? They have your stock tires and your racing tires, which they are not good in the rain. So they expect you to get grip on the road with rain. Think about that, Forza. If you want to be more realistic on things, do a little bit of your homework. Just, just saying. Um, wet tires for the rain. Yeah, that that'll definitely make a change in your game. Cause I don't, I feel as though I don't have enough grip in the rain with these tires at all. You talking about realism? Get with the program with the tires. That's all I'm saying. I'm speaking my mind though. You need wet tires for the wet. Not stock in racing hard or soft. Doesn't make any sense. The tires, the tire compound and the weather situations do matter. Because it's a simulation racing game. You gotta be real. You wanna be real? Well there there you go. Take some tips from me. So if your game is willing to offer for what it's offering, then you got people sold. Yeah, I almost crashed into that. And I'm like two minutes in. I knew I could hold it in. Well, this is Bullets for an HD, guys. We're moving like the speed of sound. Subscribe if you're not new already. And I'm in the video here. Thanks for coming down and watching this video for Forza Motorsport 4. Or for, so Forza Motorsport 4. Forza Motorsport 6 and Forza Motorsport 7. My thoughts on the channel. All my links are down below. And I um, hope you guys have a good week. Enjoy E3. And um, this shit's going to be real for the racing community. It's a battle. <laughs> It is a real battle, but like I said, subscribe if you're not new. All my links are down below. Guys, thanks for coming.